Um, well, not not when I start. I, I mean, I obviously, like all of us, I carry those things around in my head, and you know, it's from books I've read and you know, whatever, all that kind of stuff. But I think it's. I often that's a really good question actually. It's um, I often find that when you s just start noodling like this, you're making up the stories as as you're going along. I, I sometimes think it's like you know when when you're a kid and um, you you pick your toy up and you're kind of telling narratives with your toy as you're just playing with it. You're just coming up with stories and stuff. It's kind of like that when you're just noodling with something like this. Um, it's it's more so when you've got like a kind of a character um, based thing, I guess. But again, you know, when when I when I start bringing in elements where the humans are, you know, where you can see where a a kind of a stairway would lead to, or there's a door, a window with people inside and stuff like that. I I always try. That's one one of the things I always try to do in my work is um, always try and have a human scale in there somewhere, because I think what when you're doing any kind of concept stuff, um, our, our job is to sell the concept as much as possible. So you want to invite the. It's really difficult to not. Sorry, I'm, I'm just going off a tangent here. It's really difficult to have to use a different set of um, keys to change my brush size. It really slows me down. Um, yeah, uh, you you want to invite people into the image, so giving them keys, giving them almost puzzles to solve, but almost um, giving them a, a human element in there that they can recognise and see themselves in the painting. So I I always have like you know on these ships I do, even the quite large ones, um, you can always see how people would work on it. You can always I, I always try and make sure that. You can you can see that how if if you were on that ship where how you would get about on it which doors you would use to go in and all that kind of stuff because if you see something in a painting that you recognise from it, it, this is in fantasy and science fiction paintings especially if you see something that you recognise from your own life then it it gives you an in it almost opens the door for you to get in there and think I I can I can see that world existing because I, I recognise things in it. You know, does, does that make sense? Um, so, yeah. Um, so I, I guess that's part of the sort of narrative thing that you're talking about there. Um, it's the narrative how, of how something would work. If, if you're designing something that's, you know, quite outlandish and unreal, you want to give it at least some basis in reality. So, because you're always, job of a concept artist is, is to sell the idea to the art director, production designer, all that kind of stuff, and ultimately to the paying audience. And if you can give somebody something to latch on to, you, you want to you wanna almost let the audience do some of the heavy, li heavy lifting for you as well. So um, if you're having to explain everything all the time, that makes your job really hard. Um, 